we're going to be discussing how to rename columns in Python. Uh, first of all, we're going to be importing the necessary libraries to get other data. Import Y Finance as uh, YF and import Pandas as PD. Next, we're going to be saving the data on an object called DF. Download and we're going to be downloading information on the stock of Apple for a period equal to one year. In addition, we're going to be focusing only on the uh, low price of Apple, on the high price, pardon, as well as the closing price. So we're going to be downloading this data and expecting the first five rows of that data frame. So this is the information that we're going to be needing. So the first method to rename the columns of the data frame is to create a list with the new names that is going to be equal to a number to the number of columns of the data frame. So let's call that new data frame, new call names. Uh, list is going to be equal to, for example, I want to call uh, the low uh, column, I want to replace it with a name low price, then high price, and then close price. So I have my list, I'm going to be saving it in that object called new call names. And then the only thing that I need to do is to get to call the object, the data frame, and the method columns and this is going to be equal to the new list which is going to be called which is called new call names so in this case if we take a look at the new data frame then we have changed uh, we see that we have replaced the names of these columns the second uh, method to replace the names is going to be um, by uh, using the set axis method. So, for example, we're going to be calling again the uh, df object and call the method set axis. So, in this case, we're going to be uh, including the new um, uh, list of names that we want to change. In this case, for example, I want to go back to low, then high and for example in this case I want to go back to close but in this case we need to specify the axis because in this case we're going to be we're going to be we are calling the set axis method so we need to say axis is going to be equal to one because we want the columns to be um, to be the um, uh, the axis to be renamed so let's take a look at these um, at the uh, at the output, and we have seen that this has changed the names of the columns. So in this case, for example, we could use also if we want to replace because if we take a look at the data frame, nothing has been changed. We still have the previous prices. So in this case, we can just rewrite the original data set by using this line of code and in this case we can replace one by the word columns and this is going to be exactly doing exactly the same so we run this line of code we inspect the five rows and we see that the data frame has now the new column names but in this case this is also as we said this needs the number of new column names to be exactly equal to the number of columns in the data frame so if we want to rename specific columns in a data set then we are going to be using the rename method for example we call our object and we say that, for example, we want to change only the first two column names. So we specify these as a dictionary. We say low. I want low to be, in this case, for example, min price. In addition, I want the column high to be renamed as uh, 
for example, max price. I want to, I need to specify the axis, which is equal to the columns. And let's take a look at the output. So in this case, as we can see, the first two columns, the first two names of the columns have been replaced by the, or with the new names. If we want to save these, um, uh, these changes, then we can rewrite the initial uh, data frame. And again, as previously, we can replace the one axis equals one by axis equals columns. We inspect the first five rows and we see that the changes have been saved. In this case, for example, this could have been rewritten as rename and columns is going to be equal to this dictionary and that would have done uh, give us the exact same results. There is another very uh, useful trick when we want to replace uh, the column names because, for example, some data sets might have uh, some spaces in the names of the columns. So, for example, let's take a look at one of these examples. Y if download, then Apple period is going to be equal to one year. And in addition, we're going to be calling the parameter actions and establishing equals to true. So let's take a look. This is going to be giving us in addition to the normal uh, information, which goes from open to volume. This returns the information on dividends and stock splits. So in this case, as we can see, um, in this example, there are two names that have a space which might uh, cause problems in the future if we want to um, uh, clean and work with a database. So in this case, one of the advantages of the rename method is that it's going to be accepting some functions, including lambda functions. So we can say very easily lambda x x replace and then we're going to be assigning the uh, the um, thing that we want to replace in this case i want to get rid of these spaces so i want to replace the space with for example an underscore as always we need to establish the uh, the axis and for example if we want to save our changes I want to establish in place equals to true. So in this case what happened it is that the there was a, the need for a comma in there and we have taken care of the spaces they have been replaced by an underscore. So this is how we replace or we rename columns in a pandas data frame in Python.